Paranormal Adventures, and uh, today we've got something a little bit different for you. Uh, about a week ago, I got a request for help from a lady in the United States in Kansas because she had a lot of paranormal activity going on in her house. I did a little post today, Sunday, on uh, BBM with regards to it. And one of the first replies I got as a comment from it was, well, her pictures are all blurry. Of course they're blurry. When you take pictures and you're uh, investigating paranormal and you're using any kind of digital equipment, that equipment will be affected by electromagnetic energy. We're all electromagnetic energy. Uh, energy just takes different forms because basic substance is energy. Energy cannot be created nor can it be destroyed. It just is. So in a room with a lot of paranormal activity, any digital equipment you use, you will get a lot of blur to it. If you've ever seen pictures of things that are supposed to be entities, they're always blurry. Um, the only way to do better is to use actual film, but you have to induce different types of lighting with the film because you cannot take that picture in white light. You need to use ultraviolet or infrared light to get the ability to see these things because they're not within the normal spectrum. And something that appears to the naked eye will not necessarily appear to a camera. Right? It's a very complex process. Anyway, this lady contacted us looking for some help. She has written to uh, Ghost Adventures, to Dead Files, and she's getting no responses from them. But she's been watching our stuff since the beginning, so she asked for some help. Well, we have narrowed down at this point, even though we haven't gone to see her yet, uh, we've narrowed down what is going on. It is not a location-based haunting or poltergeist activity. She is dealing with an attachment. And we're pretty sure at this point in time, from what we've seen and what we've been told, this attachment has come because of her previously using an Ouija board. Please don't. Stay away from those. Um, it is a gateway or a portal to a place and to things you do not want in your life. And when you put your hands on them to use them, you're giving an invitation. Right? Always realize that folklore has its basis in truth. As an example, the folklore behind having to invite the vampire in. It's the same thing when you're dealing with any kind of an entity. You are going to invite it in inadvertently. Um, what she is dealing with is from my guess, from what she has told me, is what normally comes through a Ouija board, which is Zozo. Um, he is a, it is a accomplished liar, and oftentimes will disguise itself as what it is you were hoping to talk to before it takes its stronghold. Anyways, in this video, we are going to show you some of these pictures. Uh, there will be more conversation in this video. We also have an EVP that uh, she did for me today in which um, the entity identified itself. Uh, that will be also be included in this. Um, it is a little bit, it will need to be enhanced a little bit so you can hear it well because it was just as she was shutting the recorder off that it decided to say something. Very typical of it. Uh, that's my part for now. Uh, much more coming, and uh, we do plan to go out and see this lady and um, find out what's going on as soon as we possibly can. Uh, bye for now, and stay tuned. Thanks. Hello, everyone. This is Scott from Paranormal Adventures, and uh, today I'm here to present you with the uh, evidence from all the photos uh, we have received from this uh, this lady um, what I want you to do is I want you to keep an open mind uh, because some of these photos are truly bizarre now I believe that every single one of these photos is legit um, if they weren't legit then this lady has a very good career ahead of her in uh, <laughs> in anything image related because these th these are pretty good pictures uh, but but I, I do believe that these are legitimate now uh, both myself and my father uh, after hearing the EVP that uh, was sent to us we believe that we are dealing with the Zozo demon um, this is due to uh, the fact that she has uh, 
used in a Ouija board in the past. Um, the name that came through was Stefan, but Zozo is a liar. A, uh, a, 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 a basically, yeah, he's, he's a liar. And uh, we believe that uh, Zozo came through the, uh, the board and is attached to her and, effect, and is affecting her family. Now, there are all types of different faces that appear in these pictures. Uh, my father explained why he believes that the photos are blurry. Um, and uh, some of these things in these, in these photos wouldn't make sense. What I believe, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go skip to number two here. Uh, with this extremely bizarre picture. Uh, here in plain view, you have the face of a horse with lipstick on it. And if you zoom in here, you can you can see you can almost see it here. I'll I'll uh, I'll skip over. This is what I'm trying to show you, uh, like a like a chicken. Uh, oh, sorry, it's down here. I I didn't use this part of the uh, picture. You can see you can see a chicken, and uh, you know this this picture kind of threw me back. Uh, I received it before the uh, EV, EVP had come in, and uh, I really wasn't sure what was going on with this. Uh, this, I believe, is Zozo uh, using showing different manifestations uh, to lure in young the, uh, the younger boy in the house. I don't know the boy's age, but I believe he's using these image to give him a sense of safety so that uh, once he's kind of uh, brought him in, he will attach and be very not nice, basically. So I believe that these are manifestations and that they are used to lure in any children, specifically the boy, I believe. I, I, I have that, that's, that's been my, my primary concern, is that uh, the, the boy would be lured in by these pictures because they are very non-threatening. Um, and as I mentioned, Zozo is a liar. Uh, so, <laughs> liar, liar, pants on fire. Um, I, I believe that these, this, especially this photo, is legitimate in that Zozo is using these images uh, to uh, present itself as harmless. Um, now, we're gonna go back here to the first picture. This is a, a light anomaly uh, captured at her work, um, and. You know, looks like the, the standard light anomaly. I mean, I don't have much to say about this photo. Um, more, it, I mean, it could be a smudge on the lens, you know. But I, I do believe that this could be a light anomaly. Um, so I, I enhanced it there. When I when I enhance it, I basically go into paint.net. I select the area. I paste it onto a new uh, image, and uh, then I just enhance it from anywhere from 200 to 500, depending on how small the image is. Oh, I keep going back here. Now, we're going to go on to picture number three, a very creepy picture. Um, here we have a face. Um, yeah, you can see it without zooming in that there's definitely something here. I mean, this, the red circle helps. And there are also two things circled up here, but I can't really make it. I can see this shape, but almost, almost looks like a box head thing. Um, it almost reminds me of the, the skeleton in Minecraft, uh, and uh, I can see eyes here. Um, not sure what's, but this is the main attraction in this picture. And if we go in here, uh, I enhanced it. And I really, really, I think I did 500% bigger on this one. And uh, you can see this is not a very pleasant looking uh, thing, face thing. Anyway, let, we'll go on to the next picture. Now, something bizarre happened. I had something in this, pic, in this folder, but I don't know where it went. Uh, I don't even remember what it was that I had in this, but I did have something in this. So we're just going to kind of skip forward. And we're going to go on to five. Now five is an interesting picture here. Uh, she has circled just a small area right here. You can see, uh, you know, s some sort of shape. But when you zoom out, um, anyone see a horn here? I see. I see a. I see a horn there. Um, 
I, I see an eye here. Um, and I, I could definitely see that shape there. I don't know how you could not see that. That's fairly, I, it could be something trying to represent itself as, as the devil, but I believe, I mean, you see this stripe down the center, uh, it could be uh, something trying to manifest itself as a cow, again, to lure in the younger child, um, or it could be something, you know, what I initially thought. Um, at this point, it's pure speculation uh, what it is, but definitely an interesting picture. Uh, same thing here. So we'll go into number six. Uh, number six, let me go right here. Um, without even zooming in, I can see a face. Okay, but, you know, someone could say, oh, that's indentations on the carpet. Well, we zoom in, and oh, I'm starting to see a body. I can see a neck. Uh, I can see hair. Uh, I can see an eye, bigger, a be better eye. Uh, almost like a scar there. A neck, a torso with an eye in it. That's kind of creepy. And legs, almost like he's like almost crouching down. And if we go into the to the enhanced version of it, I mean, you can you can see the same thing. This is uh, I don't know how you could not see this. I notice this. It's a very creepy uh, picture. That and uh, yeah, it, it's it's pretty bizarre. Uh, now we go here. Um, I didn't do much with this picture, uh, but uh, I mean, off the bat, you know what I see here. Zoom in a little bit. Oh, I see something a little more than what I, what I thought I saw. I see something here. I mean, we, we zoom in on this. Almost looks like a mouth opening. And I see an eye right there. Um, very bizarre shape to it. I see an eye right here. I see a face with uh, with an eye right here. Uh, I can't quite make it out, but I can see the body over here. It definitely looks, uh, right here I can definitely see a, a nose, a bit of a face. Hey, now we go, start from the bottom here. Um, I see eyes, I see a face, definitely, you know, a, a, Definitely very demonic-like in its, almost like it has three heads, to me. That's what it's looking like. And uh, we go up here. Um, not as prominent, but I can see something there. And here, I definitely see a face. It's almost reptile-like. Um, that's my that's my guess anyway. I can, uh, I can there's no doubt that there's something there. And okay, now this one's a pretty big picture. Now right off the bat, let's enhance that in there. Uh, I can see a face. I can definitely see a face. Um, zoom in, boom, it's right there. Um, I have no clue what that is. Um, now. I can't really tell what this is. It says look like looks like me. Um, I'm not too familiar with what uh, the lady looks like, but it, it looks. I can see an eye, a uh, very green, dark green-ish tinge to it. Uh, let's see what else can I find around here. Uh, I can definitely see something here. I mean, there's just so much going on with this picture. Uh, what's what the hell is that? I mean, you know, it could be something in a, in a case. I don't know what it is. Um, I can definitely see something very cartoony right here. Going back to my theory with the boy, and now it's trying to manifest itself in that way. Um, I can see a mouth right there and a nose. Uh, very, uh, you know, go through the ones that I enhanced. Um, yeah, that, that one's pretty creepy. Uh, you could definitely see eyes, nose, mouth. Uh, oh, uh, you can see, definitely see a, a head there. 
very... I, could, I mean, I couldn't even see the outline of the mouth. Eyes. Nose. No one can really say that these are are, are, are appearing because she's not perfectly still or, you know. Uh, I can definitely see something there. It looks almost like it belongs... Like, like this almost looks like a, a, a coon hat. I'm not sure. Um, you can definitely see... Oh, yeah, definitely got the mouth line right there. Very creepy stuff. Very creepy stuff. Um, let's let's move on. Number nine. Oh, this one's a good one. Okay, so no clue what the hell that is right there. No freaking clue. Uh, we'll kind of zoom in here, um, and I can I can definitely see something there. I can definitely see something there. We'll go to the enhanced photo, and you look back. What the? I, I just noticed this. This almost looks like like a portal, in a way. That's just what the way I'm seeing it, and something coming out. So you can see this going into this, and you just got this gremlin-like thing. You can see the mouth. Oh man, this thing is scary as shit. <laughs> All right, we're going on to number ten. Okay, now number ten is one of my favorites. Uh, now, a lady, a lady on the Ghost Adventures uh, Facebook page said that uh, the la the lady captured this picture is crazy, and um, yeah, uh, and said that there was nothing in it. And uh, hmm, while well, I'm seeing this, what the hell is that? That thing uh, right down here? Ah, uh, uh, definitely, definitely a part of the table. You know, you can see nice pearly white teeth and like an alien-looking face. This almost looks like a cigar. Um, I can see a demon, uh, like thing right here, uh, very, I mean, you, you get the whole body with it, um, hmm, we go up here, uh, let's just cycle through these, okay, this thing looks very cartoony right here, going back to my theory that this almost looks like a white, uh, not white, uh, a pink cookie monster-like thing with multiple eyes, Right there, almost slug-like in a way. Um, again, that goes back to my theory of them trying to get the child through harmless images, harmless-looking images. Uh, I don't know what the, it almost looks like. Looks like a face coming off his face. Uh, very, you know, this looks like a like some sort of animal, maybe. Uh, very, very. I mean, you could see something down here. That looks like a face, you know. I don't know how you could not. You have to have. You have to be blind, not to be able to see the shit going on in this picture. Yeah, it's blurry, but you know. Oh, face right there. Oh, fucking demon thing there. I mean, I'm just saying that uh, this picture. There's a lot of shit going on, and you have to be blind as a bat not to see. Uh, we'll go through the enhanced pictures here. Uh, that the one I pointed out right away with the scar. Um, that's from the, uh, the 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 cloth. That's the demon body right there. That, I mean, that's a lot of stuff going on right there. And now we're gonna finish off with this eye, face, nose. Not sure what's going on with that. Uh, very creepy creepy picture um, lots of lots of stuff going on in this picture um, again very very creepy uh, now that we've gone through all that I'm gonna ha I'm gonna I'm gonna throw the EVP at you at you guys I'm gonna play it uh, I'm gonna play it once once t through just so you can see it, so you can hear the whole thing and then there are two specific um, things that come up in it, so I'm going to play that, and it's especially the end, right at the end, uh, what you hear is what, I mean, I heard it the first time off the bat, it's, it's what uh, you hear that, you know, confirmed for both of us that we believe that we are dealing with the Zozo Demon, so here we go. What is your name?
show you here. I see the shadows all the time. Just fucking come out. <clears throat> Playing with curtains, shadows moving. Once in a while, a voice. Speaking the damn phone. Here you're walking around upstairs. Think you're funny? <laughs> Let's go in the lens room. Here, here. Stinks like you in here. No balls to talk, huh? Figures. No balls in the world, world. No balls in the spirit life either. Scare me, kids. Scare me. But when I tell you to talk, you can't. fucking type of spirit are you? Hmm. What is your name? Okay. Last chance. Are you here? Are you here? Are you here? Okay, last chance. Hello everyone, I'm back uh, very briefly um, while uh, the, uh, while well, you were actually right after I recorded the part I recorded, uh, I checked uh, our Facebook page on the, uh, the Paranormal uh, Adventures Facebook, Facebook page and I have received an image uh, that I, I just had to show you. So now that you've heard the EVP, um, I want to show you a photo that uh, once again I believe is totally legitimate uh, it's, very, it's, it's it's a selfie basically um, and uh, it's a very di disturbing image um, okay so here we go um, I'm going to uh, bring it up yeah yeah that's uh, <laughs> I mean what the hell is going on with this picture you can see it's very distorted uh, I mean including the eye right here um, the, the, the hair everything it's it's very distorted and very bizarre and you know you can see the bumps going the redness I don't, I don't believe that the picture was altered. Um, how do you explain that? <laughs> how do you explain that? Um, anyway, uh, we've gone on long enough. I'm going to bring this back uh, to my father. Um, now, what I want to talk about from here is uh, what do you do if you have somehow managed to bring Zozo into your world? Uh, pretty much the only way you're ever going to encounter him it is by the use of a Ouija board. Uh, if you look back on the internet you can find all sorts of references to him and uh, how the increase in his presence came as the popularity of the Ouija board increased. Now how people get in trouble is they, um, they don't do any research first of all before they ever play with something like that. What needs to be done is the session needs to be closed properly. 
So whenever you do a Ouija board session, no matter what you have to contact, you need to close the session. And you do that by simply stating that anything that has come through this portal uh, will now return and must now return to where it came from and to go in peace and to leave no traces. And then you basically say goodbye. Now this lady who is having a lot of difficulties with what we believe to be the Zozo Demon. Uh, this is how she will start up. She's got to get out of the Ouija board. And it doesn't matter how many years ago it was that she started this. And she's got to close the session. If that should happen to fail, then we have to start looking at the idea that um, she needs to contact somebody who is who's a, pag a pagan. Yes, I can't remember the word. But you know what I'm talking about. Because uh, it is one of the oldest religions on the planet, and this particular entity goes back to that time. Uh, the lady in question with this attachment has been trying to throw Christianity at it, and that just tends to upset things that are not oriented within Christianity. Everything that happens with uh, apparitions, ghosts, anything in the paranormal, a lot of it is based on belief, because belief is what gives it power, fear is what gives them power. And so you uh, you need to do your research and make sure you know what you're doing before you go jumping in feet first, especially in something like a Ouija board. Uh, that's it for the moment. Uh, we'll be back soon.